pretty damn invincible. The combination of mech and, and ghost looks ridiculous. Well, and on the flip side, we're hearing a lot of the same things be said about the Infestor right now. Yep. Yeah, but Ghost counter the Infestor. Oh, well, Greg, hang on though there. Just a second. <laughs> what? What, it control did you... You, well, you got to press him. You're the host, man. Get at him. Go, go. No, I, I'm, all, I mean, all I'm saying is that right now people are saying that uh, the Infester is at a level where what? when it is the hand of uh, or in the hand of a player like you, Greg Idra Fields, that it makes the Protoss matchup versus Zerg an incredibly, incredibly difficult one. Yes, because Protosses are all retarded. I mean, <laughs> yes. No, seriously, like, look, there's so many series where a Protoss will cheese and lose, and then they'll play a turtle game and just make an invincible army and roll over the Zerg, and then they'll try and cheese again and they'll lose, and people are like, oh, look, Protoss fucking sucks. No, it's because you're playing it wrong. Like, uh, Huck's match versus Dong Regu, I didn't see the first game, but he lost it. Then the second game, he turtles, just rolls him. Just big invincible army makes Dong Regu. Fucking Dong Regu looks silly. And then the next game, he goes DT and gets run over. I mean, Protosses are fucking retarded. That's not a comment on balance. Play properly and... You don't have any problem. It's you so true. Stalkers, yeah. Templar, and I see this all the time, even in TVP. The Protosses just fall back on like terrible builds. They like open DT into expand, even and you just Korea, shut it down, and like, you just roll them. Korea, Protoss is disgusting. <laughs> what? Just I drag mean, it out, get Jeff, three base, you... make like five Colossus, and hit a solid timing push with good upgrades. You don't even have time. to time push. You just keep securing bases, put up cannons, and Link Stalker base, Templar and Colossus support. It, yeah, it, it I works too. Jeff. <laughs> well, Hello, I mean, Jeff. you know, Greg knows better than every Protoss player that's played the game. So, what do you want me to say? I don't know. I want to. I mean, Protoss players are statistically doing the worst in 2011. Uh, CVP because they all do this shit I just said. See, Greg, that doesn't really work. You can't. Like, you want, no, 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 guys, listen. Hang on. Let's try to calm down just a second. Calm down. Part of the reason why. Protoss players do mix their builds up, which seems weird, is because actually straight macro does not work every single time. It works sometimes, and most of the time I'd give you, because the Zerg or Terran is afraid of a one base, two base all in. It works because they're cutting corners or they're fainting strategies. So if they all just said, okay, this game I'm fast expanding five gate blink stalker plus two attack, taking my third into Templar Colossus, the Zerg laughs his head off and plays like Destiny does and sits back, gets eight bases, and goes to Super Army. And this has actually happened. You guys are citing matchups. If you want to, I will do the same. But I also have statistics on my side, which is going to blow you guys out of the water because all you have uh -oh. is a mode of like, this one time I played a guy and he did this and it worked. And that doesn't hold up. The numbers speak. And I, I don't really want to engage in the logic that every Protoss player is retarded because that's stupid, but... I guess I'll have to. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? We're not as dumb as you think we are? I think you look at the gameplay, because you can do pressure builds. You can not let Zerg just get X economy for free without doing stupid coin flips like a DT Rush or a two-star Void Ray or any, uh, anything like that that is basically a free win if it fails. You can do pressure builds. You can do timings and feints. In fact, Protoss is designed for that with warp gates and chrono boosts and stuff like that. Without completely committing to it, you can keep Zerg on edge and keep Terran on edge, I, I'd imagine. You can. Without really committing to it. And yeah. No, Protoss is just make bad decisions. I mean, it sounds silly, but you look at them. There's no Protoss who looks like they're on the caliber of Nesty or MVP or MMA in Korea. Even MC plays a lot more fragilely in terms of decisions and his execution. They just, they're not as good. And that happens. It's a young game. We don't have the entire RTS talent pool into it yet. It, it's not illogical or not unimaginable that Protoss has less talent. I mean, sure, we can we can talk. I mean, it's funny what? talking to Greg about this, because for the longest time you talked about Terran players not having the best, or like not being the weakest race in Brood War, which is just flat out wrong, but... No, that's an oversimplification. Well, let me go back. Hold on. Let me go back to something that Greg did just say, is that... He kind of he kind of took his comment back a little bit and said, you know, it's that we haven't found 
that dominant Protoss yet. And I'm sure when you hear dominant Protoss... Didn't MC, MC win two GSLs? Well, uh, and MC is going to be the first person... That yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. MC, yeah. MC is certainly a dominant Protoss. There's no two ways about that. But I think what Greg is saying is that MC will definitely just like throw in the random coin, to coin toss from time to time. He'll do a DT opener. And I don't even think that that's necessarily a bad thing. I think having the ability to throw in the random coin toss kind of even makes you more of a threat to some degree. Um, but I certainly agree with the statement that MC's play style is more fragile than a player like. I just think it's a little weird when for the longest time Zerg players were bitching about how underpowered their race was and how they were the better players, but they needed help from Blizzard. And then when statistically Protoss is in the same shoe, same position, it's ironic that Idra, probably the, the, the spokesperson of the Zerg complainers, is now talking about how Protoss is all bad. They're dumb people. It's not the, the race play. that they're all bad. Look at the way they play. Is it? Look at the way Zerg there plays. Is a, they there didn't is make fucking Infestors for a year, Greg. <laughs> you guys played fucking terrible. That's when like, Infestors really were bad. terrible. There's something that's to be said. They, they got a massive buff. They yeah, did. Infestors are way better now. And there's something fair to be said about the fact that defensive Protoss macro style versus Zerg is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I commentate a lot of games. I look at a lot of games. Whenever I see Protoss players do that, and they get to a certain stage in ZVP where like their upgrades are there, they have three or four bases. I mean, like, what the hell can Zerg do? They just get annihilated. Like, there's no Zerg unit composition in the in the late game that can deal with that. Like, I haven't seen it. Like, Void Ray, Colossus, Blink Stalker. That pretty oh, much. Pain user. Well, uh, re rewinding back just uh, just a second. Um, I want to ask a question based off of some of the comments that I'm hearing. Idra, uh, based off of what you said, are you kind of complaining that, that Protoss has too much utility? Like there, there's the like because you just said there's they could do this, they could do this, they could throw out the random cheesy bullshit, et cetera, et cetera. They, the, these wrong decisions, it's like, well, if they have far more options... No, I, that was just kind of a counterpoint to what Jeff was saying, how okay. they have to mix it up and, you know, using that to explain the dumb cheeses that Protoss do. I was just saying, you know, you have options it, that I, I aren't gotcha. complete coin flips. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, that makes that makes. I wasn't really, sense. No, the only thing I complain about with Protoss is, well, I mean, it's really easy to die to Protoss timings, but that's kind of just the way StarCraft 2 works. The only thing I complain about is the strength of the Death Ball uh, and just Protoss Turtle in general. And I do think that it's overpowered. So, if you think it's overpowered, you think you should get nerfed, right? I, I think Zerg's late game needs a buff, because Zerg can't touch uh, like the Turtle Mech plus Ghost Terran either. So, I think it implies that Zerg late game is too weak, not that the others are too strong. Zerg, your Protoss can't touch Infestors through the mid game. Should we nerf that? Uh, but you don't need to. You can just sit back, take three bases, and defend, and then you get your death ball, and then you win. So, I mean, sure, maybe Infestors are too strong in the mid game, but it doesn't actually help. Who's the better player, Huck or, De or Destiny? Huck. You think so? Huck, Huck, but he's dumb. In a long macro game, who wins? Huck versus Destiny. I think Huck won that series, didn't he? Like 3-2? Destiny won the long macro games. Not all of them. Huck won a huge long macro game on Shakur. Yeah. An Archon switch. Uh, I would argue that Huck the is longest. somewhere in the realm of four or five times better than Destiny. Right? But, he, but he's... But he's not like a smart, creative player, and Destiny plays a really weird style. You can't argue that. He, he figures out good styles by watching Koreans play, and then he just practices them a ton and executes them well. But he's not creative. He's not going to come up with something on the spot. And Destiny plays a really odd style. So he's exposed what to something. What creative he play do you want in long macro games? No, it's just like the response to the investment shit, because mid game sets up the late game. So he has What's to take advantage of whatever in order to set himself up better for the late game. What he doesn't creative do that response do we have to, help, to investors, though? Make Templar? Feedback. He made Templar. I, I didn't see the games. I know he won the series 3 2, though. And so, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I, I guess my point is, is, I mean, let's not to bash Destiny. He's done fantastic for himself, but he's not a top tier pro gamer. He's not, he's not winning everything, but he is taking series off of. Because Palmer, he has. Huck and other really, really good Koreans, like top-of-the-line Koreans, using Infestors almost exclusively. Yeah, and he has an like odd style, and he's beating people who don't respond to it well. You don't see him winning tournaments because other people do. 
Another thing Destiny uses that a lot of other Zergs don't use is Infested Terrans. He burrows like three Infestors with full energy into an expansion and then just poops them all over a Nexus. And, and, then, just and then, by that logic, is it then the fault of Destiny for being able to... Uh, you know, abuse something like that, or no. is it the fault of creative. Rain creative, for man. not having detection there at that base? He's a good player in his own right. I wouldn't say Huck is like four times better than him. I kind of agree with what Greg is saying. They're two very oh, different yeah. players. Huck is like a very mechanically sound player who can replicate build orders, and Destiny is super creative. He does a lot of stuff that you don't see other third players doing, and it's awesome to watch. He's very entertaining, and he's good. He's just not mechanically there. Like, if you watch him stream, he's just not on the same level. Uh, Jeff, I just think we should be a little bit uncomfortable with the conversation that is, Protoss players are dumb, Infestors I don't agree are fine. With that. Like, the Infestor being fine, this is like the epitome of irony to me. That's just like it's the like way... It's like universally accepted that that unit is actually broken. Okay, but that's just the no. way... That's just the way Greg words shit, though. You know Greg's <laughs> not, like, saying that... You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not, like, literally saying that all Protoss players are, like, fucking retarded. He's just saying they do dumb shit sometimes, and I couldn't agree more. I want right? to hear from Jeff um, what you think. I'm not asking for a balance change or suggestion, but what is the uh, what is the part of the investor that is broken? Um, it's really ridiculous that they get it at layer layer tech. I think there, or it has to be more expensive. There has to be some kind of cost there. You can actually get the Infestor out to stop anything at Lair Tech. Um, and it's the unit that you're going to use throughout the entire matchup. So to get it as early as that. And then uh, be able... Uh, like, there's just nothing... Like having sentries at tier 1.5. <laughs> yeah, and the Protoss is still the worst race, statistically. Weird. They must yeah. be really dumb. Um, and you're talking about the recent statistics in Control that have said... 2011. That that so I mean, it's as recent as this year. That's almost over. Yeah. Where it, it goes, uh, it goes. Terrans or Protoss? Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, it just comes too early, and perhaps the fact that it does a lot of damage to armored when the entire army of Protoss versus Zerg is armored. So an area of effect that ensnares and does extra damage to armored, and comes cheaply early on in the game is uh, pretty powerful. And we're not even talking about infested Terrans. That's the whole crazy thing about Destiny style is he's found a way to make infested Terrans like super good as well. And that just adds to the strength of the Infestor overall aside from the fungal growth. I mean, by just, takes out by a just maxing every their game. energy and allowing you to have a 250 food army instantly? Well, he's not really talking about using the Infestus in battle. He's talking about the harass aspect of it. And part of that yeah. is just that Protosses and ter well, players are not used to that style because most people don't do that. As soon as that becomes more popular, people catch on versus Destiny. They're going to be prepared for it, and it's not going to work. Like, Think of the strength, though. Four full energy infestors in an Overlord dropped into like a Protoss third or fourth. That's yeah, but if a Protoss is turtling, it's nothing to throw down enough cannons to stop that. Well, in all, I mean, in all fairness, uh, in all fairness, you can take a medevac filled with four Hellions, and uh, as drones are running away, dying horrible deaths. On the same token, the Infestor throws out a fucking shitload of infested Terrans, takes out a Nexus, but yeah, the but probes the, here's away. the difference, though. the The Infestors can, first of all, they can circumvent cannons. I mean, unless you just like surround your Nexus with like a ton of cannons, but Destiny finds ways to. Like, sneak an Overlord into the backside of the Protoss expansion. He'll drop four Infestors in a super obscure location and then just spam Infested Terrans all over, like, the left side of the Nexus where there aren't any cannons. And you're killing the Nexus. I mean, yeah, in the late game, we, you can kill a lot of drones with Blue Flame, but you're not killing hatcheries, and there's a really big difference. If you kill the actual Nexus, you're denying all the gas. He has to rebuild the Nexus. All the probes are going to be, like, distance mining, or you have to relocate them a while it's a much bigger deal than you know killing 15 15 drones fair or whatever enough. fair enough um how did we get here again talking about ghosts yeah yeah ghosts yeah. and then infestors and fucking well i i think we could keep going